I'm going to cut off my past. <sighs> I won't let you do that! I learned everything from people of the past! It's because I had my friends that I was able to keep moving forward! They're what created the me that's here now! I'm never gonna let you cut that away! <laughs> then... You must know what you need to do. Calamity has befallen the River of Time. An incident affecting the course of human history. That is to say, the erasure of history. A ninja world with no history is no ninja world. A ninja world with no history is devoid of humanity. The Book of Transcendence, which you composed long ago, now lies forgotten and unknown. History must be resurrected. Yet to accomplish this, we require a foundation whereupon its path will be retraced. Therefore, we shall weave this foundation together. We must once again set to paper the verses of this long-forgotten book. Let us begin. From here forth, history will be spun again, and so we must grant him a central role. The circumstances of his birth were cruel. Within the land of fire, the being known as the Nine-Tailed Fox Spirit descended upon the Hidden Leaf Village and began a violent rampage. 
The fourth Hokage, leader of the village, sealed the wild spirit away into the body of Naruto Uzumaki, returning peace to the village for a time. With the spirit of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him as an infant, Naruto endured persecution from the villagers, and yet he thrived. Time passed, and Naruto grew into a young man with dreams of becoming Hokage himself one day. With his indomitable optimism, he soon found himself surrounded by close friends. Among them was a young man named Sasuke Uchiha of the Uchiha clan, and Sakura Haruno, a young lady who admired Sasuke. It was these two shinobi who were assigned to Team 7 alongside Naruto after their graduation from the Ninja Academy. Undertaking countless missions together, they became especially close. But before they could embark on such missions, their team captain, Kakashi Hatake, had them carry out an exercise in order to test their abilities. This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Well, the time has come. Let the survival session begin. is at least 66%. Yeah, that can't be! What was the graduation test for anyway? Oh, that? Just to select potential union candidates. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm back! <laughs> Dang it! Well, I'm not gonna be weeded out! <clears throat> not finished yet! I'm not that easy to beat! I can do it when it counts! Uh, fire style! Fire uh, uh, jutsu! For what it's worth, that was pretty good. Huh. You're better than I thought. All right, you passed. Huh? But we couldn't get the bells! I wasn't testing your individual skills. It was your teamwork I was looking at. Teamwork? In the ninja world, rules are important. It's true. But there's nothing worse than ninja who won't help their friends. And I think you three get that. Of course, I'll still need to train you a heck of a lot more. All right, the exercise is over. Team 7 starts its first mission tomorrow. Competing against Kakashi, these three young shinobi learned the potential power in teamwork. And so, Team 7 was officially formed. Despite holding different dreams and ambitions within their hearts, the three friends set off together on the true path of the ninja. And so began their journey on a path with no end.
Now official members of Team 7, the three of them undertook a mission to escort a dignitary. A bridge was under construction to connect the impoverished land of waves to the other nations. However, the work was frequently impeded by a group who did not look with favor upon the project. Team 7 made the decision to guard the bridge through its completion. It was then that two strange characters emerged and drew them into a fierce battle. This duo consisted of Zabuza Momochi, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, and Haku, a young disciple of Zabuza, who possessed considerable powers himself. Although Naruto felt a sense of ambivalence toward Haku, who he could see was being used as a mere tool by Zabuza. For the sake of his friends and his beliefs, he steeled his resolve and challenged Haku alongside Sasuke. Now that I'm here, everybody's gonna be fine! <laughs> with Sabuza, no matter who it is. I won't let those important to me get hurt! I'm gonna win this no matter what! In the midst of heated combat, Sasuke awakens Sharingan, a special visual jutsu only accessible to the Uchiha clan, turning the battle in their favor. Why did you save me? I didn't ask you to! I don't know. My body just moved. There was no time to think, loser. Witnessing this tragedy, Naruto flew into a violent rage, awakening the power of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him and unleashing an attack that overcame Haku. What's happening? I'll never forgive you! I'm no match for this kid. Sabuza. 